Welcome to the homework for Lesson 5. This is Grade 2, Module 2. Write your name first. Don't forget it. And this first page, we are naming things in your home that you would measure in meters. And we're just making estimates. We're not measuring them. We're just making estimates. So some things that you're going to measure with in meters. Right? Keep in mind that... Uh, a meter is about the length of from a doorknob down to the floor. So that's one meter. You want to measure things that are at least that long. So if you can think of your own things. It would be more fun than just taking what I tell you to do. But if you just really can't think of anything to measure, you might try the door. These are just ideas. You don't have to use these. You're going to see the estimate. Does it look like if look at your door? And you think, well, if it's that far up, that's one meter from the floor up to the doorknob. Does it look like it would be about the same distance from the doorknob to the top of the door? And if it is, then that would be two meters. If it's more, then you might say it's closer to three. Take a look at your door. See what you think. Your door, maybe a, you can see how long a couch is. Um, you could try measuring a bed. So you're measuring big things, like big pieces of furniture, maybe, a chair. Or if you've got a rug on the floor, you could measure a rug. And you know, they're your things, so you come up with your own estimates. I'm, I don't know what to write down for estimates for things that you have, because I can't see them. So come up with your own estimates. And now we're going to talk about, for number two, and your estimates you're going to write down here. So, you know, how many meters is it going to be? These are all going to be estimated in meters, right? So don't forget to write down the units, M's for meters. You're going to have to write your own numbers for each one. How many meters do you think of that is? How many do you think that is? How many do you think that is? You have to write your answers there. So those are just estimates. Estimates are only supposed to be close. They're not supposed to be perfectly or exact, exactly right. So they're just estimates. We're using a, a benchmark of that idea of how far it is from the floor up to a doorknob. And just trying to imagine that, what would fit into that space and how many times that space might go over something else. So number two, choose the best length estimate for each object. So looking at a whiteboard in a classroom, 45 centimeters is... That's a little bit longer than just a ruler. <clears throat> so that's not very long. A whiteboard's probably going to be bigger than that, unless it's a personal size whiteboard. If it's a big one that's in the uh, up on the wall in your classroom, three meters is probably a better estimate. <clears throat> a banana. Well, let's see. A banana, if it's the size, if it's 30 centimeters, that's about the same size as a, a full-size ruler, a regular ruler. That would be... A wicked huge banana. So a regular banana is probably going to be a lot smaller. I don't think even a plantain would be that big. <clears throat> so I would go with the 14 there. Uh, a DVD. So just like the disc, right? Uh, 17 would be about half of a ruler. 25 would be most of a ruler. Uh, 25 seems a little big for me. So I think 17 is closer. And a pen, you know, and you may you've seen three of these. Try doing the last two yourself. Pause the video, see if you can figure out the next two. And now that you've seen just some examples of how to think of it and how to figure it out, um, maybe you can figure it out for yourself and then play and see what I did. Okay, so a pen, well, a whole meter, a, a pen that would be a meter long would be a really big pen. I'm sure somebody makes one that big, but most of them are going to be that long. And a swimming pool that's only 150 centimeters, that's going to be like 50, 150 centimeters. That's going to be, what, 10, not even 10, it's going to be like five rulers long. So that's a really tiny swimming pool. I mean, um, 50 meters looks like it makes more sense to me. Next page. So now we're going to measure some stuff. 
The width of your pinky finger is about a centimeter. That's what it says up here. And it says measure the length of the lines using your pinky finger and write your estimate. So I'm not going to show you how to use your pinky finger. It's a lot like marking and moving. Uh, this ruler, we're not going to need it because we're just estimating. Don't use it. So line A. It's about how many centimeters long? Get your pinky finger, put it down, mark about how wide it is, then move it, mark it again, move it, mark it again, move it, mark it again, move it. This is mark and move. So remember this strategy, I mean, I'm just guessing at these because I can't even, I'm using my pinky finger and it's a little bit more than a centimeter. So I'm just kind of guessing. About another one of mark it right about. There, and then that leaves about room for about one more pinky finger or so. And, you know, just mark and move with your pinky finger. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And not how long your pinky finger is. It's like how far, how wide it is. So not the long way, but the, the short way across your pinky finger. Uh, that's, how, that's how come these lines are so short. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about seven. So there you go. We have our lines. That's a, that shows our work. You've got to have those. You've got to show these. You're marking and moving. You have to have these marks. And you counted seven. Now I'm told that uh, if you measure this with a ruler, it's really only six. But I'm not going to change it because that's what this, this is all about means we're just trying to get it close so when you're marking and moving that's all you're really doing is trying to get you're estimating it you're trying to get it close and you know there's no need to fix it as long as it's just as long as it's close uh, we're not actually measuring it we're estimating so we're going to get a number that's close or around uh the right exact number but if it isn't well it's not supposed to be exactly right so we we'll go on do the same thing with line B. Use your pinky. That looks like about one pinky long. You know, the width of my pinky, about one of them. One. Line C. That I'm going to leave this one up totally up to you. Don't measure it with a ruler. Don't measure it with a ruler. Make some marks. You know, mark it. Uh, right. So you can in fact, you can use some of these other lines to make your estimates too. You could do that. You know, if this, if that's one, then that's about one. And that's about another one. And that's about another one. But you know, you put your pinky right on the page, mark it, move your pinky, make another mark, move it like that. And some people are getting, maybe you got a skinny pinky and you're going to have more marks than somebody else because it's not exactly a centimeter. Maybe it's less. Maybe you've got big fingers, and it's going to be more than a centimeter. You're going to have less marks. But you're going to have whatever you're going to have here after you have after you make your marks, however you make them. And I'm not even going to finish this because I don't know what your estimate's going to be. And we're going to do the same thing with D. You know what to do. Put your pinky right on that end point and then keep marking and moving move your pinky make another mark move your pinky make another mark and hopefully when you're done making your marks they're about the same distance apart from each other so you don't have two lines that are really close and one that's really far apart you don't want that when you're marking and moving and you see that you know you've made a mistake and you should probably go back and try and fix it and even it up but that's don't worry too much about it it's just supposed to be an estimate these are all about 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 when you see that you know you're estimating and your your inch is not supposed to be exact it's nice if it is you're just lucky if it is it's just supposed to be close